Oh, here's another clump. I'm gonna go ahead and dig that one out. You can kind of see. It was a whole clove that I planted, like I said, because the skin was just gonna break off of it. And I just want to plant it, see if it would grow. And it grew really, really well, actually. And I've got a whole, whole row of them there. In comparison, this is what should look like. It was a single clove, just a little line there, but you can definitely see that there's a lot more growth in this one here than those ones. So we're simply just gonna take those apart. Got a great, great root system there already. And we'll split those up and kind of split make a few more individuals. All right, so I took that Zion, and you can see that it was all stuck together and clumped together. And now I'm simply, I pulled it out of the front garden and put it in the back garden. And you can kind of see I'm just simply pulling it apart. This is the stuff that, like, the skin wasn't really on it very well, but it's got a really good root system, actually. And I'm just pulling those things apart, giving it some roots. And then I'm just kind of digging a hole with my finger. And I'm just going to... Stick it down that hole, and hopefully, by having it spread apart like this, it'll give it more of a chance of growing into some decent sized cloves. We'll have to wait and see. So, so I did about let's see, one, two, three, four, about nine of them maybe that way. It'll just at least give me a good start for next year um, if the other ones don't go as well as I want them to. And this is some elephant garlic that got planted last year uh, and didn't grow very well, so I just kind of left it in the ground. And as you can see, it's definitely taken off this year because that's about the width of my finger already. So I just got a whole row. It just got super weedy last year, and I simply just didn't harvest it. So if you don't harvest it, whatever garlic that is, it does tend to come back the following year. 